Welcome back to King of the Classroom. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a glow-in-the-dark tornado in a bottle. What you're going to need is two empty two-liter bottles. Then you're going to need this special connector piece with a hole in the middle. I will leave a link down to these in the description. The first thing you're going to need to do is fill up one of these bottles two-thirds of the way up with water. Now with the power of YouTube, ta-da! Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this connector piece and you're going to attach it to the top of that two-liter bottle you just filled up. Then you're going to take the other two-liter bottle and screw it into the top. Nice and tight so it doesn't leak. And there you have it, your very own tornado in a bottle. Now all you need to do is turn it over. Well, that's not very impressive. So what you need to do is grab the base and grab the center and give it a little spin. What's going to occur is that twirling is going to allow the water to exit through the sides of the hole, leaving a space in the middle for the air to come up. So as the water is coming down, the air is coming up at the same exact time. And that's what creates the tornado. Some of you may have noticed by now that this doesn't really seem to be glowing. Well, for that, you've got to add my secret ingredients. Now what you're going to need to make a glow in the dark is a highlighter and a handheld black light. I'll put a link down in the description for this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is unscrew the top. The second thing I'm going to do is put on a glove, because this next part can get a little bit messy. What you're going to want to do is grab the highlighter, take the back off, and on the inside you're going to find this filament that holds the ink for the highlighter. What you're going to do is hold it at the top, and now you're going to squeeze the ink down inside. Once you've squeezed out as much as you can, all you have to do is hold it between your fingers, put your finger underneath, and pull out. Mess free. Now that we have all of the ink from the highlighter on the inside, place the cap back on. Give it a little swirl to mix it all in. Now what you're left with is some Mountain Dew colored water. Not really glowing. Well, if you turn off the lights and turn on the black light, what's happening right now is the black light is allowing the ink from the highlighter to fluoresce. This is different from glow in the dark. Glow in the dark materials can be held underneath the light and then without any outside source, you can turn off the light and that item will glow by itself. This highlighter ink will only glow underneath a black light. And it doesn't even glow technically. Technically the term is called fluorescing. Now we're just gonna give this a spin again. And there you have it. Your very own glow in the dark tornado in a bottle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.